Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Belatesh, and I'm outside at school with all these beautiful plants. And I wanted to read this book to you. It's called A Log's Life. So a log is a tree that has fallen over. Maybe it got blown over by wind or maybe it got cut down and the branches and everything have been cut off and it's just the trunk of the tree that's left. And so like what happens to that tree when it falls down? What happens to it? So we're gonna find out a log's life. Here we go. A log's life and it's by Wendy Pfeffer. Deep in a forest, a great oak tree stands. Wow, that's a very big tree with lots of branches. A family of squirrels lives in a hole in its trunk. A porcupine chews on its branches. A colony of carpenter ants nests under the outer bark. A woodpecker pecks on the rough bark searching for insects. He spears one, devours it, and hunts for more. So in this tree, all these animals live while this tree is still living, right? This is still a living, growing tree. Wood boring beetles burrow under the bark, chewing wood and leaving tunnels. Water and air seep into the tunnels toadstools and other fungi such as mildew, molds, and mushrooms sprout in these damp places. Snails and slugs crawl up the tree trunk into the tunnels and eat the fungi. Ooh, all this is happening inside this tree. Wow! One stormy day, a strong wind whips through the forest the old oak bends with every gust. The wind pushes really hard, just like the wind is blowing right now. The rain pelts its branches and wind tosses its leaves through the air. Lightning flashes and sizzles down its trunk. Oh no, the tree was hit by lightning. A thunderous crack startles the porcupine sleeping nearby. The tall oak begins to topple. Squirrels feel the trembling and scramble out of their hole. One strong gust of blustery wind tears the great oak's roots right from the ground. The tree crashes down, shaking the forest floor. Branches break, limbs splinter, and leaves scatter. Oh my goodness, you see the lightning has hit the tree and the wind is blowing and the tree is going to get knocked right over. Poor tree. Now it's a giant log. So instead of being a trunk, the trunk of the tree, now the tree is just lying on the ground and now it's called a log. Soon the storm stops and the sun comes out. An umbrella of leaves and tangled branches block the sunshine from the forest floor. The porcupine comes out of its den. Squirrels scamper to see the old hole that was once their home. Oh, the tree is all knocked down. So it used to be their home. I bet it's going to be the home of some new animals soon. Under the log, ants rush about, carrying white bundles of babies. A spider crawls through cracks and crevices, searching for a dry spot to place her egg sac. Millipedes settle between the log and the wet ground. For now, they are safe from the spider. Termites soon discover the fallen log and they move right in. They not only eat the rotting wood, they lay their eggs there too. Ooh, there's the millipede. What is that? I think that's an ant. All these animals. 
animals are moving into the log. Okay. For three or four years, through hot, cold, wet, and dry seasons, ants, beetles, fungi, slugs, snails, spiders, millipedes, and termites all live in the log. One winter, the porcupine's hollow log collapses. He moves into the oak log too. Oh, so now the porcupine has moved in. Boy, this log is home to a lot of animals. In the spring, click beetles snap and click their bottles and their bodies and flip high in the air before settling in the log. Salamanders, frightened by the noise and sudden movements, dart under the log for safety and they stay. Oh, there's the salamander. Salamanders like to be where it's nice and wet and moist and cool. Mmm, all kinds of things are living in this log. In the summer, pill bugs and slugs crawl inside the cool, moist log to keep from drying out. Pill bugs eat dead leaves. Salamanders eat the pill bugs. Slugs slip out at night and eat almost anything. The old log provides both food and shelter for the millipedes. They eat decaying plants and trees, but spiders eat the millipedes. Boy, this tree provided food for animals when it was living, and now it's providing food for animals after it has died. Now it is a log. Several more years of hot, cold, wet, and dry seasons pass. Time, weather, and the chewing, pecking, boring, and tunneling of many animals and insects make the inside of the log spongy. The outer bark becomes soft and damp and gradually falls to the ground. Wood boring insects have no wood left to bore. They find another log. The woodpecker hunts for other trees to peck. Spiders spin their webs in drier spots and the porcupine moves to a more solid log. So it was their home for a long time and now the animals are gonna move to a new location. Slowly, a lush green blanket of moss carpets the rotting log. Its thick roots break down the wood and over the next few years, the log crumbles. What is left looks like dirt. It feels like dirt. It smells like dirt. Oh, we're using our senses. It is dirt. Earthworms move in. They turn the soil over just as a shovel does. They burrow down and break up the soil just as a rake does. In about 10 years, the rotting log has become a mound of rich black earth. Wow, this tree needed soil to grow and now that it has died, it is returned back into the soil. One autumn day, an acorn falls from a nearby oak tree. A squirrel buries it in the rich soil. A seedling oak sprouts and grows and grows and grows until... Boys and girls, what do you think is going to happen? I bet one day in the forest, another great oak tree stands. Squirrels move in, so do carpenter ants, beetles, and woodpeckers. The ants build nests, the beetles burrow, the woodpeckers peck. For years, life goes on in the oak tree. Wow. We've got a new oak tree and a new home. And then one night, the wind whistles through the trees, the oak bends and shakes, it crashes to the forest floor, 
and it becomes another giant log. Oh my gosh, boys and girls, what a great book, A Log's Life. I love that because it talks about how a tree grows, how when it dies, it decomposes, it breaks down, it goes back into the soil, and a new tree grows. Oh, thank you for sharing this book with me.